Lopramide, a piperidine derivative, is an opioid drug used against diarrhea resulting from gastroenteritis or inflammatory bowel disease. It was developed by Janssen Pharmaceutica in 1971. In most countries, it is available generically and under brand names such as Lopex, Imodium, Dimer, Fortasc, Lepidium, Gastrostop, and Pepto Diarrhea Control. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, a list of the most important medication needed in a basic health system. Medical uses Lopramide is effective for the treatment of a number of types of diarrhea. This includes control of acute nonspecific diarrhea, mild traveler's diarrhea, irritable bowel syndrome, chronic diarrhea due to bowel resection, and chronic diarrhea secondary to inflammatory bowel disease. It is also useful for reducing ileostomy output. Of note, lopramide is not useful in preventing traveler's diarrhea. Off-label uses for lopramide also include chemotherapy-induced diarrhea, especially related to irinotecum use. Lopramide should not be used in cases of bloody diarrhea, acute exacerbation of ulcerative colitis, or bacterial enterocolitis. Cautions: Treatment should be avoided in the presence of high fever or if the stool is bloody. It is of no value in diarrhea caused by cholera, shigella or campylobacter. Treatment is not recommended for patients that could suffer detrimental effects from rebound constipation. If there is a suspicion of diarrhea associated with organisms that can penetrate the intestinal walls, such as E. coli O157, H7 or Salmonella, lopramide is contraindicated. Lopramide treatment is not used in symptomatic C. difficile infections, as it increases the risk of toxin retention and precipitation of toxic megacolon. Lopramide should be administered with caution to patients suffering from hepatic impairment due to reduced first-pass metabolism. Additionally, caution should be used when treating patients with advanced HIV as there have been cases of both viral and bacterial toxic megacolon. If abdominal distension is noted, therapy with lopramide should be discontinued. The use of lopramide in children under two years is not recommended. There have been rare reports of fatal paralytic ileus associated with abdominal distension. Most of these reports occurred in the setting of acute dysentery, overdose, and with very young children less than two years of age. A systematic review and meta-analysis examined control trials of lopramide in children under 12 years old, and found that serious adverse events occurred only in children under three years old. The study reported that the use of lopramide should be contraindicated in children under three years old, systemically ill, malnourished, moderately dehydrated, or have bloody diarrhea. In 1990, all pediatric formulations of the antidiarrheal lopramide were banned in Pakistan. Lopramide is not recommended in the UK for use during pregnancy nor by nursing mothers. In the US, lopramide is classified by the FDA as pregnancy category C. Studies in rat models have shown no teratogenicity, but there have not been sufficient studies in humans. One controlled, prospective study of 89 women exposed to lopramide during the first trimester showed no increased risk of malformations. This, however, was only one study with a small sample size. Lopramide can be present in breast milk, and is not recommended for breastfeeding mothers. Adverse effects Adverse drug reactions most commonly associated with lopramide are constipation, dizziness, nausea, and abdominal cramps. Rare, but more serious, side effects include, toxic megacolon, paralytic ileus, angioedema, anaphylaxis allergic reactions, toxic epidermal necrolysis, Stevens-Johnson syndrome, erythema multiforme, urinary retention, and heat stroke. The most frequent symptoms of lopramide overdose are drowsiness, vomiting and abdominal pain or burning. Drug interactions Lopramide is a substrate of P-glycoprotein, therefore the concentration of lopramide will increase when given with a P-glycoprotein inhibitor. Common P-glycoprotein inhibitors include quinidine, ritonavir, and ctaconazole, among others. Lopramide is also capable of decreasing the concentration of other P-glycoprotein substrates. As an example, 
when sequinavir concentrations can decrease by half when given with lopramide. Lopramide is an antidiarrheal agent which decreases intestinal movement. As such, when combined with other anti-motility drugs, there is an increased risk of constipation. These drugs include, but are not limited to, opiates, antihistamines, antipsychotics, and anticholinergics. Recreational use In recent times, lopramide has been used recreationally when combined with a G glycoprotein inhibitor such as omprazole. Mechanism of action Lopramide is an opioid receptor agonist and acts on the I1 quarter opioid receptors in the myenteric plexus of the large intestine. By itself, it does not affect the central nervous system. It works similarly to morphine by decreasing the activity of the myenteric plexus, which in turn decreases the tone of the longitudinal and circular smooth muscles of the intestinal wall. This increases the amount of time substances stay in the intestine allowing for more water to be absorbed out of the fecal matter. Lopramide also decreases colonic mass movements and suppresses the gastrocolic reflex. Ability to cross the blood or urobrain barrier, it is a misconception that lopramide does not cross the blood or urobrain barrier. Lopramide does cross this barrier, although it is immediately pumped back out into non-eurocentral nervous system circulation by p glycoprotein. While this mechanism effectively shields the CNS from exposure to lopramide, many drugs are known to inhibit p glycoprotein and may thus render the CNS vulnerable to opiate agonism by lopramide. Concurrent administration of p glycoprotein inhibitors such as quinidine and its other isomer quinine, PPIs like omprazole and even black pepper could potentially allow lopramide to cross the blood or urobrain barrier. It should however be noted that only quinidine with lopramide was found to produce respiratory depression, indicative of central opioid action. Lopramide has been shown to cause a mild physical dependence during preclinical studies, specifically in mice, rats, and rhesus monkeys. Symptoms of mild opiate withdrawal have been observed following abrupt discontinuation of long-term therapy with lopramide. When originally approved for medical use in the United States, lopramide was considered a narcotic and was put into Schedule II of the Controlled Substances Act 1970. It was transferred to Schedule V on July 17, 1977 and then decontrolled as of November 3, 1982. See also, gastroenteritis, methylnaltrexin a micron opioid antagonist that does not cross the blood-brain barrier so as to not affect CNS. Cymethicin, an anti-gas frequently combined with lopramide in medications, traveler's diarrhea, activated carbon references. External links, Imodium website, Imodium UK website.